Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, welcome to another edition of Yorkie Bespin. Um, I've been away for quite a while, uh, about a month. I've uh, been busy doing one thing and another. Uh, but I've just thought I'd do a video today. Been one or two people asking me um, about the dark brown or brown or various brown haired Luke Skywalker, Luke Fanboy figures. And it's a, it's a figure that I am quite interested in. It's, uh, I've done um, one or two videos on the variants um, that are available. Um, the Tri Logo, which you've got there, and the, the Unitoy um, Puck, and there's also a Smile, uh, which came in a toffee hair. Uh, now, there's, there's probably many, many brown hair um, fi figures, uh, Luke Farmboy, but I like to think. There is pr pretty much four, um, which I've got in the, the Unitoy line. Um, the one I'll, I'll start with is the dark hair, which you see right there. Very much the darkest hair. You can't get any darker than that. Um, obviously has the two line, uh, large copyright, which uh, indicates it is a Unitoy. Now that isn't actually a Unitoy server, that is a Taiwan. Um, because the Unitoys are all cut off sharply at the end, uh, whereas the Taiwan is like a gradual. It's like sim. It's like a. It's like the sim saber. Well, it's it's like one plastic, whereas the um, the Unitoy saber generally looks like it's a. The it actually looks like the double double telescoping, where you just expect it to pull out further. Um, but yeah, aside from that, uh, the long saber on this one, um, which has always been, I bought it like that and. I did notice it quite quickly, but uh, I've just never got around to changing it. So yeah, so that's the, that's that is the dark brown Luke Farm boy, the Unitoy. Of course, the brown haired appeared on the Empire Strikes Back cards, uh, the later cards, and uh, the Return of the Jedi. And uh, I'll miss this one for now because he's gonna uh, come later. So the next one, uh, which I call the brown. Now again. Unitoy, there you see the Unitoy Saber, very different than the uh, the Taiwan, the double, uh, the two line, large copyright, but you can see there, there is a slight, well there is a lightness, it's not slight, you can see, see there, so I, I'd call that, the, I call that the brown, so you've got the dark brown, the brown, oh. um, and the one next to that, as you've guessed it, it's uh, light brown. Let's put them next to each other so we can keep a, keep on this. And there we have, again, the Unitoy, very evident there, the Unitoy Saber, two line, beautiful figure. Um, and you can see there, very much light brown. You could actually call that toffee. Um, and you know, between those three shades, you will get, I'm sure, different ones. But uh, for me, you know, they're the three main Unitoy, dark brown, brown, and light brown. Um, I, I did call this one Toffee, but um, when I show you the, the Smile brown hair, um, you don't want to understand that one, you can see the difference. Now this is a two, this is the Smile, it's a two line. You can see the difference, it's a small copyright. So that is a smile, Luke Farm Boy. And when we get the the toffee, or we think it's a toffee, you can see the difference there. So to me, I suppose you could call that toffee and that, that light brown, um, but you can see the difference. Um, but between the, between the four, uh, if you don't mind crossing over from factories, which of course, you know, why would you? Uh, you've got four very different brown haired Luke Farm boys. And uh, you know, I think they look really good. Um, the, that is the variant world summed up in, in one shot there. Um, and that's why we collect. Now, here we have, this is also, now I would actually put him as, not gonna get much trouble, uh, much during my focus today. Uh, yeah, let's just see. I would say, now I picked this one up from Spain not long ago, yeah. I would say he's the uh, the brown hair. 
it's, it's just a little bit too light to be the dark brown. Let's just compare that. Yeah, you can see it's definitely the, the mid brown, the, the, the brown uh, and not the dark brown. But the difference here is you can see straight away you can see it's an unpainted belt. Uh, this was sold as a factory error. Um, I picked it up on one of the first book sites a couple of months ago now, and uh, it wasn't the cheapest figure. The bidding did get quite high, but I uh, <laughs> I persevered and kept bidding. And uh, yeah, I got it because I love the, well, first of all, the condition's fantastic. Um, there you go, the standard two line, the correct Unitoy Sabre. Um, but it's a, it's a factory error on the belt. And you, you do not get a lot of factory error Luke Farnboy figures. I always say this. And uh, you can also see there quite clearly, part of the neck is unpainted as well. You can see a bit of the paint splash there. It's quite a sloppy paint, actually, your job. Um, so very much a factory error figure. And, uh, and I, I can't resist the brown haired Farnboy. I think they're a fantastic looking figure. One of my favorite variants. And uh, yeah, so he was a, he was a must. And uh, you know I was happy to 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 add him to my uh, my collection, um, and then we've got another brown hair, but this of course is the Spanish Pock, which uh, you can see there, uh, along with the figure. I did get the certificate of uh, authentication, um, and there we go. Uh, Specialised identification services. And uh, it gives you in much more detail there what it is. The two line, Hong Kong, uh, brown hair, pearl hands, which are very uh, common with the POC. And you can see the paint on the pants is very different as well, darker. Um, but if I just zoom there, the color palette, you can see just a little bit further down, the neck is unpainted, factory error, and the left hand is pearl cream. While, in the Kenner example, a more natural fresh colour and practically is a match with the neck. As you can see, the hands are very different. Um, and as you see with the Kenner, the hands, as the description said, match the neck. Pretty much identical paint colour. It will be the same paint colour, the same paint. Um, so this, once upon a time, or would have been, a uni toy, too large, uh, copyright, and that is basically what POC figures are. They are Kenner figures uh, that were shipped over to Spain um, and they were put together, assembled in Spain and painted. So hence why you've still got very much the, uh, well, the same copyright on the leg. Now, facially, these do, they, do, they do look very similar as well, which begs the question, were these painted was the head just imported like that? Because the eyes are very similar. That wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't question that at all if that was a Kenner head. And if you look at the uh, the more realistic hair color, very, very similar. Although it is slightly off. So I'm guessing the hair was maybe painted in, in Spain, but certainly the eyes, um, do look very similar to Kenner, but certainly the, the rest of the figure um, was painted in Spain. You can see the paint colour very different. And of course it's an unpainted neck, so that is again uh, a factory error. So yeah, really happy to have that in my collection, one of my favourite figures. And as I say, the, uh, the uh, certificate there, as you can see, the, uh, the pearl hands and the unpainted neck are in, in the picture there. And uh, as I say, I got this when I, I picked this up from a Spanish seller about three years ago now. And uh, it's just nice to have that certificate just to sort of say, well, there's the proof. Um, and this was uh, the variant was available in the um, 37 back Empire Strikes Back air cards. Uh, cards do come up very seldom, um, but when they do, they do go for a very big price. Um, and there you see the Gunner card back. If you just got a little sneak back there, there's a Tri Logo card. Uh, I will go through my mocks on another video of my Luke Farnboy, where the pieces of Luke Farnboy focus. But 
This video is all about the brown hair Luke Farmboy, so I will show you those. Uh, these are the obviously the tri logo, the tri logo with no country on the back. That's removed. Uh, that would have been obviously the two line, the smile, um, and there we go. The the uh, the small hole variant, which wouldn't fit uh, standard saber, and of course the Bespin saber famously came with this, um, and it was carded on the tri logo with both the Bespin saber and the standard saber, and there we have it. So the same figure, exactly the same figure. But it became a variant because, of course, you had the small hole and the big hole, hence the different sabres. So that is known as the uh, the brown hair. Some call it olive. Um, it does look olive in certain light. In other light, it, it looks brown. Um, it actually looks olive there, doesn't it? But it is more brown. And uh, they're known as the tri logo. Look, fan boys. And as a little extra, I picked up this. Uh, last year again, try logo again. There he is. They lost a little paint on there, but it didn't matter because it is a factory error. There you go. The paint didn't make it on the back. The torso was painted just on the side of the belt there. But look at that. I forgot to do it on the back. So I do like these little quirky errors, and uh, I just thought that would be a really nice addition as well to go with my try logos. Um, I have this in my collection for quite a while. He does look like the Tri logo, certainly facially, uh, hair-wise, albeit he does look a bit red in the face. But this is what always fascinated me. It's got the three line on the back, which indicates that is the Kader. The Kader came with the three line. Um, copyright. So it kind of mystifies me as to what, you know, why would that be? Um, three line. Uh, the only thing I can think of is it's been a head swap. Um, I don't know. You can I read? read it's, hard, it's difficult to say if the neck matches the face. It doesn't really, but the face is an unusually red colour, deep pink colour. Uh, now I don't know if that's through degrading, um, but certainly you would expect it to have the the uh, the one line and the country wiped out because it does look like a tri logo. So all I can think of is it's a head swap. It's the only thing because I've never seen a Kader with, with brown hair, a three line. You just never see them. The only Kader's are, 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 are blonde hair. So that's an explanation. Um, I've not been collecting Luke Farm Boys for 20 years, but I've been collecting them long enough to, to probably think that is a head swap. If anyone can shed any more light on that, I'll be very happy to hear. Uh, maybe I have got a unique figure but my gut feeling tells me it is being a head swap. So just one for the the reject pile, I think. Um, so yeah, that's just a little update of my uh, my brown haired Luke Farm Boys. Pretty much got them covered there. Um, as I say, you, you could, just like with the pant colours of Luke Farm Boy, you could go on and on. And I'm sure if I picked up another four brown haired Unitoys, I'm sure I'd find a little slight difference in the hair colour. But really, they are your standard colours. So, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll sign off for now. I'm going to do another video soon of my, uh, my real Luke Farmboy uh, collection. My higher end price wise things. Uh, there's one in the background there, actually. Just showing as a backdrop. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, sorry about the uh, the gap in not doing any videos. Um, but uh, if, you, if you do like this video, please comment, please like. Always love to uh, read what people what people think and the views on collecting and Star Wars vintage in general. And if you've not subscribed, please subscribe. So until next time, cheerio.